now we'll talk about electrolysis so electrolysis as i told the process of migration of electrons from cathode to anode in the presence of electrolyte you can see here your sodium chloride it became na plus and cl minus na plus plus electron it gives sodium that's a reduction which is happening in the cathode and here chlorine it accepts it's giving electron it's happening in the anode so obviously from here anode the electrons are moving towards cathode here so this is considered as oxidation agent an oxidation happening in here and reduction is happening here at cathode going further faraday's law of electrolysis what be faraday's law the mass of an element which is deposited on an electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity which passes through the electrolyte so the amount of elements deposited is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity which passes through the electro electrolyte you can see w the amount of substance is directly proportional to electricity q so w is equal to z into q per q is equal to a into t ampere and time so the quantity of electricity is equal to ampere into time so w equal to z into a into t where z is w is considered as mass and where a considered as ampere t is time so the product you will get the quantity of electricity so as indicator you got your cathode and anode so here there is a loss happening so the electrons will be navigating and here the copper is deposited this is cathode which is happening in the electrolyte solution that's copper sulfate so for faraday's second law in the faraday's first law we got one group of materials to check out the deposition happening so deposition is depends on the electricity passed whereas for faraday's second law you will be having multiple items and it indicates when the same quantity of electricity is passed through different electrolytes the masses of different ion liberated is directly proportional to the chemical equivalence of these items so mass of copper deposited divided by mass of hydrogen liberated is equal to equal mass of copper and equal mass of hydrogen so as indicator the masses of different ions liberated at the electrode is directly proportional to their chemical equivalence so i am trying to show the similar electricity which is passed with the different electrolytes and electrodes so electrolyte of aqueous sodium chloride here electrolysis of sodium chloride is a way of splitting up the compound sodium with electrical energy so the electrical energy comes from a dc power a conducting liquid called ions containing ions is called electrolyte which contains sodium chloride in it so this is how the process is you can see here the sodium chloride sodium is deposited and the chlorine gas is formed which is emitter so you can see here you got your aqueous sodium chloride and anode and cathode is here 
and you return is past here. Over here, H plus ions are discharged at cathode. The reason is potential of H plus ion is much lower than sodium in A plus. Whereas here at anode, chlorine is discharged as chlorine gas. Because discharge of potential of chlorine is much lower than that of OH minus ions. Now we are talking about the electrolysis of aqueous copper sulphate. A copper deposit on the negative cathode and oxygen at the positive anode. This anode reaction differs from when you use copper electrodes. So the electrolyte is copper sulphate, the anion is sulphate and cation is copper. which is into the water solution over here you got Cu2 plus ions are discharged in preference to H plus because discharge potential of copper 2 plus is much lower than H plus ion and anode OH minus ions are discharged in preference to sulphate so because discharge potential of OH is much lower than sulphate ions 